As a student in Schoology, you're going to want to keep track of all your assignments and assessments that are coming up in your Schoology courses. There are a couple of different ways you can do this. When you first log into Schoology and you land on your course dashboard, you will see a pane on the right hand side that will give you a listing of any items, assessments, tests, assignments, anything that you have upcoming or that is overdue. So for instance, you can see here we have a list of overdue items, and this is for all the classes that I am enrolled in. If I continue to scroll down past my overdue items, I will also get a list of any upcoming assignments or assessments. This is one quick way to just get an overview of anything that you have due or that is upcoming and will be due soon. Another way to get a clear view of things that you have due in your course is to go to your calendar. The calendar is available in the Schoology taskbar, and when you click on the calendar, it's going to bring you to the current month. Right now, I am displaying the calendar assignments for just four of the classes I am enrolled in. So if I click on this where it says four of 19 calendars, you can see here I am only viewing the assignments for these particular classes, these three classes as well as my personal calendar. If I just wanted to see the assignments for one particular class, I could uncheck all of the other classes that I'm enrolled in and only the items for this particular class would show up. By clicking on any of the items in my calendar, it would bring me directly to that assignment in that class. The third and final way and probably one of the best ways to keep track of the assignments that you have submitted or not submitted to your courses is to go into the course itself and to look at your grades. Grades will give you a listing of all the assignments and assessments that have been posted on the class, and it will give you grades if the teacher has graded it already, but you will also get an indicator if you have submitted something, even if you don't have a grade for it. So you can see here, these two assessments have been graded. These three over here with the dashes means that nothing has been submitted yet. And if we scroll down and look at some of the other items and assignments, you can see here, for example, this particular assignment, this little icon, this little piece of paper, indicates that you have submitted the assignment to your teacher, but it has not been graded yet. Other symbols may indicate that you have something that is incomplete or that is missing and that you need to go back to it. And you can go back to any of these assignments right here just by clicking on them. You also may see comments from your teachers if the comment has the teacher has listed a comment for that. But going to grades in any one of your courses is a good overview of anything that you have upcoming or that you need to complete.